a while back I did have a problem with one of my cars where I got into a pothole and um, the rim actually broke, it shattered, a piece of it broke off and there was welding involved, they had to put it back in place, fix it up and paint the rim again thankfully it was on the inside so there was no visible markings and the place where we went actually did a pretty good job the fix was not really that noticeable and we could still use the rim and balance it and there was no further issue i still have the rims in the car installed today and they work perfectly but this time it's a little bit different this time i was um on the motorcycle and got a flat and uh the pothole that gave me the flat actually bent the rim and it didn't break it or anything it just bent it out a little bit and i'm pretty sure i would have been able to keep using it like that but i just wanted to make sure that it didn't get a slow leak or something develop along the line or down the road so i decided to take it to the same place and have it fixed i thought i could do it myself but i was a little bit scared of hammering against my rim without really knowing uh, if it would break it or something or what i needed to do so i decided to take it to that shop and um, I ended up recording the process because I thought maybe down the line if it happens again I could do it myself as um, usually I do a lot of stuff and we do a lot of projects at home uh, this could be something else that we would be able to do and actually yes it, uh, it's a very simple process you just need to have a stable table a way to heat the rim and uh, something to hit it with they use uh, two by fours and uh, they use a normal mallet the only thing that's different is that the table they have has um, a screw in the middle where they actually tighten up the rims so that they don't bounce around when they hit them. So yeah, it's pretty much a process anyone can do uh, themselves if they have the knowledge, the tools, and the valor to actually hit their rims uh, without breaking them. You know, if you want to take them to get fixed, you know, they're professionals or at least they have been doing that for a real long time so it'll be safer, a safer bet to actually get it fixed correctly if you do it yourself you've never done that before you may hit it too hard may bend it the other way may break it off may not heat it correctly you know there's a lot of things involved but if you look at the process i'm showing here in the video uh, you'll see it's very simple it's not something that's overly complicated there's no real uh, mechanical knowledge needed uh, you just need to not hit it too hard to break it off or bend it the other way so as long as you're patient have the proper tools and do the job uh, as I said, patiently, slowly, and looking at whenever you hit it, look and see if it bent correctly and hit it a few times and look again and stuff like that. You should be able to do something like this as well as uh, we are going to do it in the future. If it's a bent rim on a car or motorcycle, bicycle, whatever, uh, we're going to try to fix it ourselves first. And uh, if it's broken off that needs welding or something, then we'll take it to the shop but if it's something simple like this that was just a little bit bent out of shape i'm pretty sure we could manage ourselves and uh, get it done correctly because i actually seen the process done and uh pretty sure i can do that so i hope this video helps you out if you have an issue like this and you want to look into it and try it yourselves because when it first happened to me i thought i'd do it myself but i wanted to see how it was done first and uh, then i could have a better idea in the future of how i can do it myself and that is why we actually made this video uh, to help people out there that uh, want a little bit more knowledge and want to try it for themselves to actually see what the process involves and maybe think oh yeah i can do that and try it out hopefully it saves you some money and allows you to get uh, some denser dings out of your rims so there you have it i hope this video was useful thank you for watching until the next video